In PSPICE, you have the option to enable the bias display for component currents, node voltages, and power dissipation directly in the schematic. This display can be activated or deactivated from the menu under PSPICE bias points or via the toolbar here. Simply click on these options to toggle the bias points on or off in the schematic. Additionally, you can modify the precision and formatting of the bias points. To do this, go to PSPICE, Bias Points, Preferences, and in this dialog box, set the precision to 8 and alter the color and font of the bias voltage. Click OK to apply these changes to the schematic. You can plot various waveforms using a template marker. Here, we're examining an operational amplifier circuit set up for AC simulation across a selected frequency range. To plot waveforms using a template, navigate to the menu and select PSPICE, Markers, Plot Window Templates to open its dialog. In this dialog, Choose Bode Plot Decibel Dual Y Axis option and click Place to position the marker at its output run. Run the simulation and the Bode Plot with Dual Y Axis will be displayed in the PSPICE window. Similarly, you can explore other templates like Bode Plot Decibel Separate. or Nyquist plot to display other waveforms in the respective templates. You can create a new project using predefined templates, which enables you to quickly generate a schematic with simulation settings, allowing for immediate simulation. To do this, click New to open the new project dialog and ensure that the Enable Piece by Simulation box is checked. Set a location and a name for the new project and click OK. This action opens the Create Piece by Project dialog. Here, you can select a template based on existing projects listed in the drop down menu, or you can browse to an already existing project. Select the project file, click Open, then click OK. This launches your new project with the schematic and simulation settings already configured. Run the simulation and observe the waveforms in the PSPICE window. The Component Explorer facilitates an easy search of components from over 36,000 options included in the installation. Consider a schematic of a buck converter with an input voltage of 320 volts, supplying a 20 ohm load at the output. The switch and the diode need to be placed from the Component Explorer. To do this, open the Component Explorer from the menu by selecting Place, Component. In the search bar of the Component Explorer, type 600 volts, 20 ampere, MOSFET and press Enter. All the components matching the specified ratings will be listed, including their symbols displayed at the bottom. To find a 3-pin MOSFET from, say, Infinium, Add the search term L1 and press enter again. Let's place the MOSFET SIPC26N60S5 slash L1 slash INF by using the right click, place in the schematic. Similarly for the diode, enter the search term 600 volts, 20 ampere diode and press enter. From the list, we'll select the diode MR1386 and right-click Place to place it in the schematic, completing the circuit design. 